Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We're looking at some changes coming our direction into the next couple of days as we have a new storm system making its way through the northern portions of the country. Lots of advisories taking place into around the northeastern United States, around the Great Lakes, and all the way back toward New England. But as of right now, we're not seeing anything taking place directly for the Mid-South area, so definitely good news there. Forecast on the red bar at the bottom of your screen, winds out of the south today. That's going to be keeping the temperatures in the green triangle up by just a bit. Mostly cloudy skies with rain developing and that rainfall chance will be again for tonight. Southerly winds and looking at kind of interesting doing this backwards. Temperatures back in the 40s for later on tonight, but not seeing frozen precipitation, so good news there. Welcome to Weather Overtime. If you've never tuned in before, this is our online video weather blog, weather on your schedule from the station that is on your side. If you have any questions, concerns, ideas, let me know, austin.onic at wrag.com. Taking a look around the area today for a beverage recommendation, a very good idea for some hot coffee with the colder temperatures, but once again, your beverage, your business, if you like icy stuff cold in the morning with the numbers are down in the 30s, that's completely and totally up to you. And if you burn your mouth on the hot cup of coffee because you weren't paying attention, that's your problem. This is tongue-in-cheek. This is not, again, something that you can peg on us. So, again, if you'd like to see more about this, go to wrg.com slash weather. Over the next few hours, we'll be looking again at temperatures back into the mid to upper 40s. Looks like we're having some camera difficulties, so apologies for the blank background there. Mid to upper 40s, better chances of showers into later on this afternoon, and winds will continue to be on the breezy side out there. Look rock, a lot of sunshine, a few clouds out there from Great Smoky Mountains National Park. More information about how you can hashtag find your park at npsnationalparksystem.gov. Jonesboro, lots of clouds overhead and occasionally a few areas of sprinkles on the lens of Sound Concepts Incorporated webcam on the Weather Underground system. Power Center Academy, beautiful sunrise yesterday. This morning, not so much. Not seeing much more than just a lot of cloud cover out there. Back to the Great Smoky Smokies, Purchase Knob, beautiful view post sunrise and most of the leaves off the trees. Not seeing too much outside of bare branches and the occasional spot of green out there as fall is almost over and winter is about ready to begin. Solid overcast for the most part in Olive Branch from City Hall from former mayor of Olive Branch Sam Reichert's webcam on the Weather Underground Network. Rainfall yesterday, nothing. Third of an inch above for the month, six and two thirds inches above for the year, so a decent surplus out there, but it's still been very dry for the last several days. Yesterday's temperatures very much on the cooler side than where we should be. 53 and 36 are normal high and low, respectively. 47 and 24 were the low temperatures yesterday, so again, looking at some pretty chilly numbers out there. Record low today, nine set in 1917. Got to go back to World War One for that. And 77 set back in 2015 for a record high just a few years ago. Rest of the forecast, again, not seeing too much going on immediately, but better chances of rainfall as we get into the course of the next few days. Looking around the area for when it comes to advisories, we do have, again, a lot going on back to our north. We have, again, plenty of advisories from the Dakotas into and around the New England area as our next storm system begins to move on through. Again, not much going on directly for the Mid-South, but it's going to be up into these areas that we see the possibility of some winter storm warnings taking place. And that's a bit of a problem for areas around the Twin Cities, Chicago, Milwaukee, and back into around Detroit. Meanwhile, farther to the east, we have just winter weather advisories taking place, but we do still have that potential of seeing more problems down the line for us, at least. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little while. Temperatures back in the 40s by the time we hit noon, lower 50s out there. Main thing for today is going to be, again, the winds coming in from out of the south, and that's going to be doing a very good job of keeping the temperatures up by just a bit into the rest of the day, so that's going to help keep whatever we have in the way of rainfall as just rainfall. More scattered showers across the area through mid-afternoon, peak heating time of the day. Numbers will drop a little bit by dinner time, but not by much, and we see again the temperatures again through evening hours remaining relatively steady as that southerly air keeps things very nice out there. By the time we hit tomorrow morning, the moisture should be on its way out. Some scattered showers left over uh, into northeast Mississippi, Oxford, Corinth, 
and then back into the Tennessee River Valley. That's where we'll see most of the rainfall heading on out. By lunchtime, should be clearing across much of the area. Could be some more clouds from Corinth to Clarksdale, Oxford down to Water Valley, Batesville, picking up much of the cloud cover there. And then clearing up most of the area, but we're not done with the clouds just yet. As we see again, more cloud cover making its way into the area by News Channel 3 at 10 on Monday. But chances of showers pretty much gone from the forecast as we get into the next couple of days. Dry early, then the showers begin after noon today. Showers and thunderstorms tonight. Then we turn it around. Rain leaves the area tomorrow. Just cloud cover sticking around for much of the Mid-South. Mix of clouds and sun for Tuesday. Temperatures back in the lower 50s, pretty close to normal for this time of the year. And then an Arctic blast makes its way across from Russia in Siberia. This is going to be making its way all the way across the northern Pacific into Canada and then eventually scraping close to the Mid-South area. So we'll be seeing temperatures going from the 50s on Tuesday to the 30s on Thursday. And then we get into the upper 50s, close to 60 again by next Saturday. That's going to be interesting to see how that works out. Now, this is going to be interesting because with this amount of moisture out there that we see on Saturday and then this cool down coming our direction into around Saturday night, there's a possibility that we could see some scattered snow showers in the Mid-South or something a lot more than that if we get enough moisture out there. And that's something we're going to have to watch very carefully as this system combines with that moisture. Will this happen? A guarantee? No, not at this time. But we will be seeing some very interesting numbers up and down. Down, back up again and back down again and pass possibility of seeing again that frozen precipitation mixed in there so definitely want to keep it tuned to news channel 3 for more on that friends loved ones relatives serving in the united states military toward iraq temperatures about sunset in the upper 50s to the lower 60s across much of the fertile at the International Airport in Doha and also in Bahrain and also at Kuwait. Temperatures back in the 60s there. Afghanistan, temperatures back in the full Faizabad, 59 degrees at Herat and Kandahar with just clouds and nothing major being reported in those locations. And from the demilitarized across much of South Korea, temperatures in the upper 20s around the DMZ, 30s, lower 30s, Kunsan, Seoul, and Taegu, and 41 degrees down toward Pusan with mainly light winds. Thanking Deborah J. 5-4 for a great sunrise picture from early this morning, assuming around Humboldt, Tennessee, as she usually sends them in from there. And send them in to me if you got pictures. We'll feature them here on Weather Overtime and also on News Channel 3 when we have time at Aonic underscore WREG3. Keep up to date with the rest of the forecast throughout the weekend on Radio Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. We'll have your complete forecast on the EAB network. And don't forget to download our app from the App Store. Search whatever App Store you use and search for WREG3. REG weather if you'd like to see a little bit more there and we'll be able to get you more information on that. Send us emails if you want to about where to get the best weather information and it's right at WREG.com slash weather. Again, chances of rain and thunderstorms tonight not looking at severe weather, but outdoor activities earlier will be better rather than later. As of right now, by the time we record this, there's little of anything going on in the way of major problems, but keep in mind that it's going to be a little bit more soggy into tonight and then big changes ahead for this week up and down. Stay tuned for the changes in the forecast, talking about those changes as we go, excuse me, into the next couple of days. And we'll keep you updated on that again at WREG.com. Email address at the top right here. Stay tuned to my various social media networks. And we'll keep you advised on all sorts of things going on across the Mid-South. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned to me for the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 for updates on your complete forecast on air and online. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.